Donna's story was recently portrayed on Investigation Discoveries, Who the Bleep Did I Marry? And this is a shocking story, and, and you know, we don't hear about this too very often, but it does happen. And Donna, thank you. You're joining us via phone, and uh, we appreciate you sharing your story with us. But when, when did you realize something was wrong? So he did this for about three years. Oh. Wow. And um, I realized right before I started back to teaching one year, and I thought it was just a, a sinus infection, and then I started having a lot of nausea and vomiting. I had major hair loss. I was hallucinating. I was jaundiced. Uh, I ended up with severe stomach cramps. And it just progressed from there. Well, and people are probably wondering why it took so long to figure out what was going on. But it's hard to make a diagnosis of mm -hmm. really what is arsenic poisoning because the symptoms are so nonspecific. I mean, you start looking at the symptoms, stomach cramps. You can have problems swallowing. You can get this bizarre metallic taste in your mouth. Excess saliva production. Again, all nonspecific. Garlic breath, blood in your urine. Right. Cramping muscles. You mentioned hair loss, excessive sweating, very nonspecific, mm -hmm. diarrhea, problems with vomiting. And right. of course, if you get to the point where you're so full of poison, you can have convulsions that can lead to death. Donna, this is where luckily you figured out that you were being poisoned, but this is where in medicine the history is so important mm -hmm. because someone, someone overheard. That, she, she saved my life. Uh, had she not overheard it, we found out he was bringing milkshakes to the hospital that he had put poison in. Wow. wow. So you're wow. feeling good now? I'm doing real well. Uh, I still have only partial feeling in my hands and feet, and I have to worry about walking. But I'm out of leg braces. I'm remarried. I'm singing. Good I'm dancing. You. And life is good. That's well, great. Thanks. Thanks. God, God bless you, and thank you for sharing your story with us. husband now hopefully he's not in any place nice Ex well Ex he's Ex in husband. prison he has been for years um, we're so unfortunately stuck. the state of Missouri has changed their laws and next month he comes up for parole hmm. Well, maybe you should take him a milkshake to celebrate <laughs> 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 Well, thanks, Don, and you can catch Who the Bleep Did I Marry on Investigation Discovery Wednesdays at 9 p.m. And really quickly, here's the thing about arsenic. It's a naturally occurring element. You may have heard stories about this, but there are countries in this world, Bangladesh is an example, where millions and millions of people are exposed to arsenic daily in their groundwater, have poisonous levels in their, in their system. So it's not just malicious arsenic poisoning that we have to worry about in this world. Arsenic does get into groundwater. It's also used in some insecticides and weed killers. Arsenic can be carcinogenic. So these nonspecific, bizarre symptoms, if you're having them, you really have to think through what could be a natural exposure and God forbid a scenario like this.